So what I got an attitude. Bitch, I got an attitude. So what I got an attitude. Got it out with half and I flipped it in a double. Got it out with half and I flipped it in a double. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kai. If you're new here, if you're not, thank you for coming back. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this this wig from Outre. It's called the Perfect Hairline Collection in the style Lana. I got this in the number two. Um, I wore this hair on my birthday because the human hair wig that I ordered did not come in time. And I just had this on tuck, luckily. But it's actually a really nice wig. Now, what it's going to look like in this video is not going to be the accurate um, representation of what it looks like straight out of the box because I've had this on for now three days and you're not supposed to sleep in your synthetic wigs. I just want to put that out there. You should not sleep in your synthetic wigs if you want them to last um, more than three days because this is going to be the last day I'm wearing this because after this, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be... Um, wearable anymore so i'm gonna take this bonnet and the scarf off to see what we're working with it's gonna be matted and i'm gonna try to comb it out so i can show you guys what it's looking like i will insert some clips from what i how it looked on my birthday because it was nice and also how it looked yesterday when i combed it out frizzy but that's what's that's what's expected from synthetic wigs especially long ones and ones with this kind of curl pattern um so yeah we're gonna we're gonna make it work though i'm gonna show you guys what this looks like um if you want to see it straight out the box there's an unboxing video that i can link down below of i think her name is tia j that's where i got this uh idea from to get this wig in the first place but so as you can see, it's lifting because it was just placed down with got to be. But I'm gonna replace it down, do the baby hairs, and try to comb this out. I think this wig was like $50. I'm not sure. This was definitely one of the most expensive synthetic uh, wigs that I've ever gotten. But it does have like uh, lace that's, I think it's 13 by six. It's not like how the old synthetic wigs used to be. Where the, weight, where the lace was like plastic and super hard. It's not like that. It's much softer. It's not to the quality of human hair wigs, but it's definitely much better to where you can wear this and get away with it as it being potentially human hair. This is definitely a, an occasional wig. This is not something that you should wear multiple days in a row like I have done because I've slept in it. That's just because I don't really care to keep it for too long. I really just had it I was supposed to return it, but because my other wig didn't come in on time, I figured why not just wear this one. So yeah, I think it was $50. I got it from Amazon. It came, I want to say it came in a week. Did you know right now, I think it's taking a little bit longer to come here. So I'm going to go ahead and push this down. I didn't put any foundation or anything on it. I mean, you can do that. It would look a little bit better, but... In photos, it looks great. Now in person, obviously you would have to put some foundation and conceal some of these knots, but in photos, it looks really good. So yeah, the curls come like really, really tight. Um, and then you can just like finger, finger comb them out or use like a white tooth comb, which is what I'm gonna be using today. And it's really, um, ooh, excuse me. It has a lot of volume, like the curls, once you comb them out, it has a lot of volume. I'm gonna use Gatsby glue for the baby hairs. Please, please don't look at this toothbrush, it's disgusting. Got it out with half and I flipped it in a double. Got it out with half and I flipped it in a double. this side a little later take this bobby pin out now i'm just gonna start trying to comb it out 
As I said, it is matte, especially in the nape. Synthetic wigs tangle really bad in the nape of the neck. But as you can see, you can kind of see the curls and how they fall. But we're gonna comb them out just so it looks a little bit better. Obviously, this is gonna be a looser curl pattern than what it comes with because I'm combing it out and this is my third time combing this hair out. So it's not gonna look the same. But I will show you guys some photos of how it did look when I wore it. Um, the first day because it was really really pretty to my surprise I was not like I was really I didn't record this video on my birthday when I installed this wig because I had my doubts I was like kind of sad because this isn't what I wanted to wear or how I wanted to have my hair and then my clothes came in either so I was kind of upset but it actually turned out to be really nice so I wish I would have just did the unboxing and installed it the first time on camera but that's okay you can still get kind of an idea of what it's like. Like I was saying, the nape of the neck is the worst for tangling, and that's all synthetic wigs, and that's even some human hair wigs too, um, where things just tangle at the nape of the neck. So, like I said, I slept in this. That is why it looks like this. Do not think that this is how it comes right out the box because it doesn't come out the box like this. But as you can see, the more you comb it out, the bigger the curls. Add some more volume. Um, you can keep the curls tight if that's your thing. They were, I would say, when I wore it, I combed it out a little bit. I didn't want it to look too neat, but I combed it out mostly for volume. As you can see, like the, the ends and some of the hair in the back is almost straight. And that's what happens with synthetic hair wigs when you comb them out. Um, you can't just put it in water or Try to revert stuff with synthetic hair. You can put heat on this hair. This is what the back of the box looks like. Sorry, I didn't even show you guys. So, fully hand tied, 13 by six frontal, six inch deep lace parting, ear to ear, soft Swiss lace. Natural contour for perfect fit, perfect fit, combs for security. Wide adjustable elastic band, back comb for secure fit. pre pluck gradual hairline, baby hairs included. So it does have the elastic band. And it does have, it is pre-plucked. You can see the knots though, so I would suggest probably using some foundation. I did it just because I didn't go anywhere. I just took pictures so you can't really see it. Um, it does have three combs and it does have pre-plucked hairline with some baby hair. Let me keep combing this out so you can see what it looks like. As you can see, it's already, it's, you can see how mad it is in the back. And synthetic hair, they don't they don't put lengths of how long it is. There is no like length and there is no density for these kind of wigs. Um, you just kind of get what you get. <laughs> you can't really tell or you can't really say like, let me stand up. So this hair is pretty long. I would say it's about 26 inches, um, but they don't tell you that kind of information. Synthetic and I'm getting some shedding in the comb. That's because I'm really like yanking the hair because it's kind of matted up. So you can part this ear. I mean. <laughs> You can part this hair ear to ear, so it's 13 by six, so you can, actually, no you can't, I lied. There's not a lot of space down here. Where this part is, it's like as far as you can put a side part, same with the other side, and then it's deep, it's like six inches in the middle. So I think this looks good. I mean, as long as no one runs their fingers through your hair, like, you should be good. Why, this is not sticking now, but I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna take some got to be and kind of do, bobby pin and pin this side back. 
those out of my face and put this curl in front of my ear. And then if I have my phone down here, I will push this back so that it can fall over in my face. So this is pretty much how I wore it. It's a little more frizzy than it was on day one, but that's okay. So this is what the hair looks like. Obviously you would stick this down or figure this out. It's, I wouldn't say that it's big head friendly. Like it's pretty snug on my head. Like it was kind of hard to pull it <laughs> further and far enough up on my forehead for it could stay so it could stay um i had to obviously glue it down or it would have slipped back but yeah this is what it looks like on day three so it's still pretty the curls are still nice they're not all flat just kind of in the back but it looks good like it still looks good like i said this was 50 dollars on amazon this is the outre um perfect lace in the style lana and the number two so pretty obviously you can play with it you can pin it um i had some foam right here that kind of laid it back so this would stay but yeah this is what this looks like i would say put some i had some foundation in the part i would say you could put some more foundation in the part so it could be more visible Put some foundation a little bit on the hairline so that you can conceal some of those knots. But yeah, that's really it. Look how full the bang is. Like, it's so nice. Like, if I knew how to curl hair, human hair, I would definitely be doing these type of curls, but I don't want to do that. That's the best thing about synthetic wigs is that they come already styled right out the box. Like, literally, you clap it on, you finger comb it or comb it out, and do some baby hairs if you want. Style it like it's already in its style. And that was quick, like it's so quick. Yeah. So that is the end of this video. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I will leave the link to this hair in the description box. Follow me on all my social medias. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.